Hello, YouTube people. Catalytic converter thefts in 2021 have increased 300% compared to 2019. This is because the cats contain the precious metals, platinum, palladium, and rhodidium. The price of rhodidium was less than 2,000 an ounce in 2017, and it went as high as 27,000 in the spring of 2021. Now, in the fall of 2021, it's currently around 13,000. Consequently, thieves are able to sell their stolen cats for hundreds of dollars. Catalytic converters help reduce pollution from cars and trucks. In 1970, Congress passed the Clean Air Act, which required a 90% reduction in automobile emissions by 1975. Before this law became effective, many times the airs in cities such as Los Angeles would be so smoggy that the sky was a hazy brown. Catalytic converters were added to cars beginning with the 1975 models. The cats have platinum, palladium, and rhodidium inside them, which acts as a catalyst. A catalyst facilitates a chemical reaction. The insides of the catalytic converter have honeycomb tubes that are coated with the precious metals. When the exhaust flows through the catalytic converter, and after the catalytic converter has been sufficiently heated by the exhaust, the chemical reaction to transform the polluting gases into non-toxic gases occurs. Nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide, and unburned fuel or hydrocarbons are transformed into nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. It only takes a thief a few minutes to use a floor jack to jack up a car and cut out the cat using a portable saw or a chain pipe cutter. Victims will find out about the theft when they start up their car. Their car will now sound like a loud lawnmower. Depending on the car, the repair bill could be $500 to $3,000. Also, because of the huge increase in thefts, the inventory for cats is low, and it could take several months to get a replacement cat. The vehicles that the thieves have been targeting are Prius, especially the 2004 to 2009 Generation 2, Toyota Tacoma, Sequoia, Tundra, Ford F-150, 250, 350, Honda Element, CRV, Odyssey Pilot, Accord, and high clearance SUVs and trucks. There are some cat shields that you can buy and install or have a muffler shop install them for you. However, in this video, I demonstrate how I added theft deterrent measures to the cat on my car using a small budget. I got most of these ideas from other YouTube videos but I wanted to create a video that combined these ideas into one video and provide step-by-step -step instructions. I first painted my cat a bright color red, and then I etched my VIN number and license plate number onto my cat. The VIN number will provide evidence for the police to charge the criminals with felony theft, and scrap dealers may not want to buy a painted cat because it's stolen property. The supplies used for VIN etching are paper towels, alcohol, N95 masks, safety goggles, a clip, pen, paper, permanent marker, engraving tool, high temperature red paint, gloves, and tape. I decided to add additional theft deterrences to the cat by adding U-bolts to one of the cut points and adding high temperature paste to round out the engine hex bolt. The additional supplies used for this are a digital measuring caliper, three 2.5 inch U-bolt exhaust clamps, part number 35414, eight extra 5 16 inch nuts, JB Weld extreme high temperature paste, a wrench, a screwdriver, a fastener removal tool, four 9mm plastic fastener trim clips, part number 52161-02022, two 
to zero. To get under the car, I parked the car on the sidewalk. I enabled the emergency brake, turned on the blinkers, put chalk blocks on either side of the wheels, and parked my other car behind me. I taped over any OEM part numbers that were stamped on the cap. To prep the cap for painting, I used some paper towels and alcohol to clean the cap. The cat was then spray painted with the high temperature red paint. I also spray painted the second cat and the sub mufflers. I had previously practiced using the etching tool on a tin can. I clipped the paper with the VIN number to the car. The Gen 3 Prius Cat has about 4.75 inches of rideable width. So I split the 17 digit VIN number to two rows. I used a marker to write the VIN number on the cat. I found that the etching tool is easier to control if two hands are used to hold the etching tool. I used the digital caliper to measure the diameter of the pipe between the cat and the sub muffler. For the Gen 3 Prius, the diameter was 2.39 inches. To discourage these from cutting this area, I put three 2.5 inch U-bolt exhaust clamps there. Be careful not to over tighten the nuts since over tightening can break the exhaust pipe. I added extra 5 16 inch nuts to the clamps and I put some high heat JB weld paste on the ends. The three U-bolts side by side measured 1.62 inches. For additional protection, I rounded out the cap to engine hex bolt with the high heat JB weld paste. I had to remove the heat shield so that I could etch the last eight digits of my VIN number onto the second cat that's nearest the engine. Three of the four plastic fasteners broke when I did this, so it's advisable to get replacement fasteners before removing the heat shield. Also, be aware that dust and dirt will fall out when removing the heat shield. After the middle section of the fastener is lifted, the fastener may be pulled out. There wasn't much room to work with, so I had to split up the eight digits into two rows. In summary, the car's VIN number was etched onto the painted catalytic converters. Additional protection was added by placing U-bolt muffler clamps at the most likely cut point and rounding out the cap to engine hex bolt. I also took pictures of the cats which could be needed if I ever had to file a police report. My total cost for this project, not including taxes and shipping, was $44.10. I will try to recycle the leftover paint, etching tool, and plastic fasteners 
by selling it to someone else who is interested in protecting their cap. Costs could have also been reduced by not buying the digital caliper. A paper strip could have been used to mark the circumference of the exhaust pipe, and then the diameter could have been calculated. In the description below this video, I've added some affiliate links to some of the supplies used for this project. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to help the algorithm to spread the word on this issue.